All right, this is a quick review. Let's deal with uh, scientific notation, adding and subtracting. All right, so remember, adding or subtracting, the exponents must match. And you can see these don't, right? We're to the fifth and we're to the seventh. All right, so it's easier to make the smaller one up to the bigger one. So we're going to make this a seven. I just made that two powers of 10 larger. So I must make the front two powers of 10 smaller. Okay, so now here's where I'm at, 0 0.03 minus 1.8. You can either punch that in your calculator or do it in your head if you got a good math head. And the answer is negative 1.77 and times what? Times 10 to the seventh. It's just like like terms now. 0 0.03 of them minus 1.8 of them gives you negative 1.77 of them, of the 10 to the negative sevenths. All right, that's addition or subtraction. How about multiplication? The powers of 10 don't matter in multiplication. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply coefficient times coefficient. And if you remember, the analogy is if you had, if you had 2x times 5x, you're going to go 2 times 5 is 10 x times x is x squared, right? That's the concept. That's what we're dealing with. It's that simplistic. Okay, so 3.1 times 2.5. Let me punch that in my calculator. 3.1 times 2.5. I got 7.75. All right, and remember, x to the a times x to the b equals x to the a plus b. You add the exponents. So 7.75 times 10 to the sixth multiplication. All right, how about division? Division. So I threw a couple things in here. Not only do we have division, we have an exponent of a 3 on the bottom. All right, so remember, this 3 gets applied to the 2.5. So it's 2.5 cubed. Let me do that. 2.5 cubed. And that's 15.625. So you got 4.7 on the top. 15.625 on the bottom, and 10 to the negative 2 times a 3 is a negative 6 times 10 to the negative 4 on the top. Okay, I'm going to take my coefficients, right, my 4.7, and I'm going to divide it by 15.625, and I get 0 0.3008. Now, remember, division of exponents x to the a divided by x to the b equals x to the a minus b. You get minus a minus here, right? So we're going to end up with 0 0.3008 times 10 to the second. But one last thing, are we in proper scientific notation? No. So I have to move this one place to the right. I just made this number larger by a power of 10. I've got to make this smaller by a power of 10. This would be 3.008 times 10. All right, quick review, scientific.